He's a newborn baby. He's also a rich kid worth over $10 billion. The nanny waits on him 25 hours a day. He gets his hair styled with diamond encrusted combs and wears lip glaze that costs over $100,000. On this day, the baby was targeted by three traffickers. They posed as photographers to take pictures of the baby. The baby was so smart and lovable. It was obvious that these three men were not good people. When the men picked up the baby, the baby kicked him. Luckily, the force wasn't too strong. Did not hurt. The three thieves distracted the baby's parents. They passed the baby out of the window. The baby was taken away. The only thing left in the room was a blackmail letter. The three thieves quickly took the baby back to their house. The three of them were about to make milk powder for the baby, but they didn't know if the temperature was right. Then the boss told him, pouring the formula on the sensitive area will tell them. The next moment, this quickly made the baby laugh, thinking they're such a stupid bandit show. They were worried that the baby would be discovered by the neighbors, so they asked the second to put the baby to bed first. But he didn't put the baby to sleep, he fell asleep first. In no time at all, the baby climbed up to the rooftop, and dripped saliva into the oldest's neck. What did I do? Did I? I did not! The two of them looked up. They were in a panic, rushed to catch up. By now, the baby had already passed through a wooden plank, climbed to another villa. The boss was the first to rush over. The result, the two little brothers just helped the big brother up. They were not yet clear-headed. And then there was another one. The third one threw the plank in anger. Not afraid of godlike opponent, fear of pig-like teammates. The two boys tried to help the boss to jump over the board, finally succeeded in jumping over. Poor boss went down with a thud. He sat down on the exhaust pipe, and finally smashed into a garbage can. The high-voltage wires were right behind him, and delivered a blow. The baby quickly got into the elevator and climbed down the stairs, and slipped past the three thieves. The boss had a hard time catching his breath, but when he turns around, he realizes that the baby is on the bus. The three of them hurriedly chased after him in their cars. They managed to stop the bus. When they opened the door, the baby was gone. It turns out that the baby hid in the old lady's vegetable basket. Luckily, Lao San found him in time, so the three thieves followed the old lady to get the baby back. Unexpectedly, the old woman turned around and threw a set of Tai Chi fist. She beat them up. You three idiots, how dare you covet my beauty? The scene was chaotic. The baby climbed to the center of the road, with its nimble snake-like movement, successfully climbed to the zoo. The three thieves wanted to take a shortcut, but they ended up jumping into a construction pit, and that's when the baby found his big brother to protect him. He's in the cage, eating and drinking with Leo. Leo is also very generous. He gave the baby an apple. The third thinks he has longer hands. He decided to challenge him. He successfully grabbed the baby's shoelace, sneakily and fearfully pulling it outward. He was about to succeed, but the baby looked at Leo with a pleading look. Then Leo came to the third. The second just wanted to comfort the third. David on the other side of the room was very happy. The second took a stick and tried to pick the baby out. He was about to get it, but Leo took him back. The result was no surprise. It seems that the oldest will have to do it himself. While Leo was sleeping, trying to pull the baby out, but he accidentally woke him up. By now, boss was already scared. Then he lifted him up like a chicken. Finally, he delivered a powerful vitra palm and nailed the boss to the iron cage on the other side of the room. There must be applause here. Finally, Leo took the baby to the back door and told him to leave. In Leo's eyes, the baby climbed out of the zoo. When the thieves found the baby again, he had crawled into the park sewers. The three of them, in order not to alert the police, they finally got smart. Once they went to the other side of the pipe and they caught the baby, they were about to leave happily. Unexpectedly, two policemen passed by. The three of them pretended to be calm. They shielded the baby with their clothes. The police asked them about their car. At this time, the baby suddenly played the game of Eagle Catch the Chicken. The boss's face was distorted. Not only that, the baby even took out a lighter and played with the sausage in it. Watching the strange behavior of the boss, the police thought it was really bad luck. The second and third tried to distract the police. At that moment, one of the policemen suddenly turned around. He smelled the aroma of barbecue. By now, the boss was already smoking, taking advantage of this opportunity. Baby sneaked out again. After sending away the two policemen, the boss quickly lifted his clothes. The fire shot up several meters high. The two brothers rushed to help him put out the fire. They kicked the elder brother. The sound came out. After a few operations, the eldest began to walk like a crap. By now the baby had crawled to a construction site. He saw a worker put bread on a steel beam. After a long day of hunger, the baby crawled towards the steel beam. After a lot of crawling, the baby finally climbed up the steel beam. While the baby was munching on the bread, and the bread rose up, the baby was hoisted high into the air along with a steel beam. The thieves, who had just arrived, were stunned. The three of them took the elevator and chased after the baby. Not only is the baby not scared, he's having fun. I can feel my legs getting weak from the screen. The three thieves are ready, waiting for the steel beam to come up. The third was pushed up by the eldest, but the beam lost its balance in the next second, and the baby made it to the elevator safely. He was hanging in the elevator. The boss sent the second one up to rescue him. It's impossible for there to be no accidents. The two of them managed to get themselves stuck in midair. Unexpectedly, the second lost his grip and fell straight down. Luckily, there was a plank to save him. The third one here was lucky to bounce back. The second has not yet recovered. Then another free fall. This time, it's all over. And finally, the second one dives headfirst into the concrete. And here's the third in his cart. He was looking for the baby in the cart. But when he stood up, he realized that there was no guardrail in front of him. And the trolley has no brakes. 
As a result, Lao Sen fell from a height into the utility box. This life force is definitely better than a cockroach. Here, the boss finally found the baby. The boss thought he had it in the bag, but he accidentally stepped on a mouthful of spit. He slipped and fell to the ground. A hammer was also bounced off the ground. He slapped the wooden board and screamed in pain. The baby took a look and shook his head. Frustrated by the stupid thief's intelligence, the boss got up from the ground and pulled the rope and turned on the mixer. He took a free concrete bath. Finally, the boss watched as the baby climbed onto the crane. At the same time, a rope was lowered. Boss was reluctant to go after him. At that moment, the closing bell rang. The workers skillfully turned off the switch and walked out of the control room. The boss was left alone in the air. By now, the baby has landed safely. He eventually followed the crowd and left the construction site. Boss hangs in the air, enjoying one of the few beautiful sunsets in his life. The second and the third are also watching the joke from below. Over here, at the baby's home, the police are telling the story of the baby's footprints. The clever nanny realized in a flash, the places the baby has been to, are exactly the same as the comic books he always reads. So she guessed that the baby's next destination would be a nursing home. And so it was. When they arrived at the place, the baby was chatting with a group of old people. Eventually, the baby returned to his parents. With the baby's tips, the police quickly caught the three thieves, and brought them to justice. 